I think it's day 20. We're zeroing in um, Hot Springs. Yeah, and I'm right here at the parking lot. You can see over my shoulder, that's the, uh, this is where you come into Hot Springs. Um, yeah, here's the AT South. That's where you come down the hill. And then it's gonna go all the way into town. And then the town's over there. And then we're staying. We're staying right in this cool place over here, which I'll show you here in a second. It's called the Laughing Heart La or Laughing Heart Hostel. Super nice. People here are awesome. Tigger and um, Chuck Norris. <laughs> it's funny because when he introduced himself, he's like, "Yeah, I'm like, what's your trail name or what's your name?" And he's like, "I'm Chuck Norris." And I'm like, "Yeah, you are." <laughs> Guy is like looks just like Chuck Norris. It's crazy. Um, we had a fun night last night. Uh, Smash one of our original trail family guys he uh he's a chef and he cooked up a huge meal for all the hikers in town so all the hikers that were around town came over here um into the hostel and ate last night and it was just massive and uh being a being a, a former professional dishwasher i i did the dishes or did most of them or i just i should say half of them they did all the, the pots and pans in a different kitchen so i had a good time last night doing dishes i always enjoy that um yeah so here check, check this place out it's cool because you uh as soon as you get off the trail you're like oh lord i would love to just get off of my feet it's been a long day getting you know coming out of the smokies and all that other stuff and then bam the hostel is right here um and it's awesome it's got private rooms um bunk rooms you know you can see people are i don't know everything's out i mean it's wet people were drying their stuff out but now it's just uh you know you gotta wait for the rain to clear out most uh most um most stuff that we have dries pretty fast so let's see here Ding -ding. so yeah we got a, a private room and uh it's pretty pretty cool here you got you know, hostels are always sweet places. They've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. A little, little place where you can sit and relax. You know, more places to put up your hammocks and tents. Um, our room is a couple windows over. There's Bunny's tent drying out. He's a cool guy. We've been hanging out with him a bunch for a couple weeks. Yeah, she's outside. Okay. Nice. Here's our room back here. We're in the laundry area. Uh, there's Nibbles working on her phone. Yeah, this is our, our little tiny room. It's always a mess when you stop in a town because you take all your stuff out and you dry it and you get everything ready for laundry and then you put the tape. Gotta unpack the yeah. wooden bag, air it out a little bit mm -hmm. since you can't launder it every time. And then you have to, it's just a mess. And it's and then we take stuff to the post office. And I bought new shoes, which we'll talk about those later today. Got some organic banana chips from the Hillbilly Market. And yeah, some highly store. recommend the Hillbilly Market. Check out Super this. nice. Look at that. Look at all of that Whoa. marshmallow. Real marshmallow. What? 99 cents. Deal. And then, of course, we had to get our Snickers ice cream bars yesterday because you're in town. Creamer for coffee. Hashtag treat yourself. Yeah, the whole nine yards, as always. And then whenever you're in a trail town, you have cool, cool outfits like this sweet camouflage. Real tree. Real tree. It's it's so you can laundry. wash you can laundry your stuff. They have they always have like a, a bin of clothing that's all clean, and uh, you just kind of pick out of there. And I tend to like to find something cool and then wear it for a few days, and then 
put it back in the laundry and head out of town. All right, I was talking about maybe getting some new shoes. These are the shoes that I'm currently using, the La Sportiva Bushidos. And the reason why I would need a new shoe is because of one thing and one thing only, and that is this hole in the back of my foot that is forming um, right here, right at the tip of my fingernail. Um, it only happens when I'm going faster than like two miles per hour. Um, and it only really happens after about, uh, after a long day of hiking. The, the shoe's in perfect condition, you know, it's on the left foot, everything's great. Um, but it's been, there's something in there. It's a, it's a very, this is a very hard shoe and uh, it's definitely been wearing on me. So I decided that I would, I would switch shoes. Um, I, I hate to do it because I am absolutely in love with these things and uh, they're ama they have amazing traction, amazing control. Um, there's the, the, there's a rock plate in here that's super stiff uh downhills they're phenomenal i i run in this shoe um I, it was kind of an experiment to see if if i could use my running shoes my actual lightweight runners i have the same problem running um in this shoe at 10 miles uh after 10 for the first 10 miles it's super comfortable lots of control after 10 miles they start to really eat your like it eats your eat your foot um now they do have the acasa which is which people are running like ultras in. Um, and I think that would have been the, the right shoe to upgrade to, uh, the, the shoe that they have here in town is the uh, wildcat and, uh, it's the La Sportiva wildcat. And it's got the same, I, I kind of have the same issue when I put it on this little part of the heel kind of grabs onto my, the back of my heel and just, it just doesn't work. And plus that, that shoe has a different feel to it that I'm, I'm not, I don't like so much. The other problem I'm having with this is after about 10 or 12 miles, um, I really feel the trail and, uh, I get a lot of foot fatigue and we've been going like, you know, 15, 16, 18 miles. So, um, yeah, so I'm switching up to probably the most trusted shoe of all time. The, um, the Solomon, let's see if we can get a better, better look at these. The Solomon, uh, XA pro 3d trail runners. I mean, these are like I was telling somebody else, this is the Toyota Camry of trail shoes. If you want a shoe that's going to last work well, it works great on my foot. I've got a Europe, kind of a European thin flat foot and, um, yeah. So, so the Sportiva is a great shoe and the, the Solomon is, and I'm looking forward to the Solomons. I, I own one of my first pairs of uh, outdoor shoes were Solomons and they were, I'll never forget them. It's, it's one of the only shoes I can say that, that I, I actually have kept, like, even though they're done, they, I, I loved them so much. I had so many great memories in them. It's one of the only pairs of shoes that I've kept. It's totally crazy. So back in the Solomons, even the guy at the shoes at the, at the store here in town, the outfitter in hot springs, super knowledgeable about shoes and about feet. Um, he said that he's gone through all kinds of shoes and has made his way back into the Solomons. So we'll see how they go. Um, yeah, sad day for me though. I'm sending the Sportivas home and I will be running in these bad boys again. Um, I'll see if, I'll see if I can run in them after, even though since, since I've been hiking, I'm not sure if I've kind of adjusted the fit on them for, for hiking only, but yeah, you just look at the bottom. They got the sweet friction X soles. They got all this like downhill traction. I mean, I'm, I'm just really sad anyway. Yep. This is still, you know, good tread on the, on the, um, on the Solomon and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. There you go. Hi everyone. Um, Radar and I are heading into town right now into Hot Springs. We are going to mail some stuff back. Um, I have some socks and some sleeping pants I'm gonna mail back, switch them out for other things. And Radar has some shoes he's gonna mail back. Shoes. Some of our chore, town chores. And then we're gonna go to the outfitter. I'm gonna look at some more socks. Maybe get another pair or two of Farm Defeat. I'm gonna check out a merino wool t shirt, maybe. And what else? Maybe 
I don't know, maybe I'll look at an insole or shoes again for myself. Um, and, oh, and then we'll hit Dollar General again real fast to grab a few more candy bars. Candy bars, maybe some oatmeal or peanuts for my gorp. And that's pretty much it for our chores to do. And all we'll have to do is eat a meal and pack our bags. Stretch. Get a good night's rest. Yep. Finish our laundry. Mm -hmm. We've taken more showers. Mm -hmm. Probably more showers. I washed my backpack with bleach because it stinks. We hung out our tent and dried it. Uh -huh. We hung out our bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's hot springs here. Dried our sleeping pads. Look, check. Good. Yeah, this is a, and this is a cool town. Um, the the, out, the the bar here is a great. Re it's like a nice, really nice restaurant. I think we're gonna go there for dinner maybe. Uh, there's a couple nice restaurants in town. Well, we went to the Smoky Mountain restaurant for breakfast this morning. We went to the tavern last night for game watching and beers. And then we might go to the Iron Horse for burgers tonight. Yeah. Go back to the tavern for wings. You know, you can never have too many options for what you need. Yeah, we're, we're walking on the road. It's, there's two ways to get to town. We could take the, the AT literally goes right downtown um but the the, the stairs are are they're like hiker stairs and we're just being lazy so we're walking on the road because it's comfy on the legs i'm still working on my blisters so i took all my luco tape off so i'm letting my feet just kind of dry out and breathe and i'm trying to walk without anything taped up right now just to kind of see what's what's happening with it my feet are feeling better hopefully tomorrow will be like new like my gait has changed a little bit because of these blisters. I'm just trying to get my feet back to normal. So here it is. You see all the... Come on. So here it is, downtown Hot Springs. There's the post office. There's the bar, another place. This is uh, Bluff Mountain Outfitters. Uh, shout out to Wayne, the owner. He's the man. Uh, he spent some real good time with us, got me into these shoes. Uh, he knows he's like a like a guru when it comes to knowing about backpacking and just outdoor stuff in general. He knows all of the um, all of the all the different intricacies of the brands and the designers. It's it's really amazing. So we've we've been really happy. Also, let's get a look at Dan's sweet outfit. He just wears so well. This real camo shirt thing is just out of control. Yeah. He totally loves it. I'm pretty sure if he could find it for sale, he would buy it. And I wouldn't be surprised if he strikes a deal and buys it from his hostel. No, it's cotton. I'm not doing cotton right now. But anyway, so we're going to the post office and we're going to mail some stuff off. We will uh, see you later.